Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a characteristic feature of flowers that is known as placentation. So let's discuss what do we mean by placentation. Placentation is actually the mode of arrangement of placentae or the ovule inside the ovary. So this is known as placentation. How the ovule or the placenta is arranged inside the ovary, this phenomena is known as placentation or this, this mode of arrangement is basically called placentation. So this placentation we are talking about, it can be of different forms based on the type or how these ovary, they are the ovules, they are arranged inside the ovary. So let's discuss the types. The first type is known as the marginal type of placentation. What happens here? Here uh, in this picture, we can see the ovules, they are attached to the central axis or the ridge. So a ridge actually forms inside the ovule, inside the ovary and all the ovules, they are born on the ridge. A very good example is known as the P. This form is actually seen in the P. So there are different forms of the picture which has been represented. This is a cross-sectional view from the top and this is a cross-sectional view from the side. So here you can see it is a present at one side of the whole ovary and all the seeds, all the ovules, they are born on this ridge, right? The second type is known as the axile type of placentation. What happens here is here the placenta is axile in nature. What happens, the ovule actually it's divided into different, the ovary, this is divided into different locules or different chambers as you can see over here. So here in this view also we can see it has been divided into different chambers, right? So this is typically seen in uh, China rose. Here what happens, the ovules, they are attached to the inner part of these chambers or the ovary, right? So you can see the ovules, they are born on the inner part of this ovary. Example as we have discussed is China rose. The next type is known as the parietal type of placentation. What happens here? Here the ovule develops in the inner wall of the ovary or the peripheral part. See the, this is the ovary and it has developed in the inner wall of the ovary. It is basically the peripheral part of the ovary, right? So here in this picture also you can see the cross sectional upper view or the top view. It is born on the peripheral part of the whole ovary, right? This is one chambered unlike the previous one, it is multi chambered. Here it is a single chambered ovary. Here the ovary becomes two chambered at times if there is a formation of a false septum, right? If a false septum forms uh, in between this ovary, it will become two chambered. A very good example which can be seen that is parietal type of placentation is seen mostly in mustard. Let's talk about the next type which is known as the free central type. What happens here? Here the ovules are born on the central axis as you can see, there is, it is not at the periphery. The ovary is also single chambered, it is not divided because of the formation of septa and it is present in the central axis. So this is the axis and all the ov ovules, they are born on this central axis. Septa is absolutely absent over here, example is primrose. And the last type which is mostly found is known as the basal type of placentation. What happens here? Here the placenta, placenta develops at the base of the ovary, so you can see this is the ovary it has developed at the base, right? This is also a representation of this basal type of placentation. So the ovule, this is born on mostly at the base of the whole ovary. So a single ovule is attached to it, right? Here we can uh, find only one single ovule which is can be attached, unlike the previous cases where multiple ovules can be uh, seen or found. So a very good example is sunflower. So in this video, we have talked about a phenomena of flower which can be seen is known as placentation. What is placentation? Placentation is the mode of arrangement of ovules inside the ovary, right? How they are arranged inside the ovary. We have discussed about the different types of placentation. What are those? Let's take a quick look. The basal type of placentation, the free central type of placentation, the parietal type of placentation, and then was the exile type of placentation, and the first one was the marginal type of placentation, mostly in case of peas. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.